all private companies above a certain size that use off-payroll workforces, such as contractors, consultants, freelancers, and flexible workforces will need to comply with the new IR35 rules. This effectively means assessing the status for all of their off-payroll workers for tax purposes. If they fail to do this, these businesses could find themselves liable for unpaid tax owed by their workers, as well as facing fines from HMRC. A major concern for business is how a change in status will affect their workforce. If it turns out that their workers should be classed as employees for tax purposes, they may be forced to bring them onto the payroll or terminate their arrangements. For the workers themselves, they may have a choice to make about whether to continue their relationship with their end user clients or not. This could involve sacrificing their contractor status for employment status, which would mean losing some tax benefits, but receive other benefits such as pension contributions, sick pay and holiday pay. There are different ways of assessing an individual's tax status for IR35. Companies can conduct their own internal audits based on their relationships with their off-payroll workers, or alternatively, hire external advisors to help them with making assessments. HMRC has also produced its own online test called CESS, which is available on their website. There are lots of risks to businesses associated with IR35. HMRC has the power to find companies that do not comply with the legislation. And a lot of businesses are preparing for disputes with HMRC on this issue. Some are also expecting litigation from their workers. This might be because they disagree about the workers' tax status, or because a worker believes they're entitled to backdated employment benefits as a consequence of a change in their tax status. The first step for companies is to engage with their off-payroll workers and let them know about this change and that it's happening and then what your obligations are as a user of their services and how you plan to comply. Once this is established, you can move on to the determination stage. Look at the questions asked by HMRC's CESS tool and use them as a starting point for any internal audits or discussions you have with contractors. If it looks like you will need to change a worker's status for tax purposes, let them know as soon as possible and lay out your reasons for this decision, along with your preferred options for your relationship going forward. This will give you the best chance of reaching an agreement that satisfies you, your workers and HMRC.